few moments later. One eternity later. Later. I've been using this HomePod Mini for over a week now and I just have some thoughts that I want to share. And I think I should emphasize that I intend to get this speaker to use as my Mac speaker, which if you are also thinking about that, you definitely should not because the latency is horrendous. It's annoying. It lags with everything. Like when you hit play, you have to wait two or three seconds for everything. No matter it is Spotify, YouTube, whatever. So do not buy this to use it as a Mac speaker. I do really like the design. It's very compact. It looks nice, you know. It uh, it's a fabric ball thing, and I like the yellow. And it sounds okay for the size. And I have a much in-depth review of the sound in my audio sample, so you can go check it out somewhere here in the card. It's quite basic for its size, but. The mid range is very recessed with, you know, vocals and everything. And it doesn't have very high resolution, like details in the high end or the mid range. And it's just kind of mid bass woofling. And I would say my MacBook speaker has, which is a 14 inch, has better clarity in terms of, you know, details, in, uh, instrument separation and all of that stuff. And so it sounds all right for like the size, which is tiny. Here's and some music from your library. Shut up. But yeah, it's not the, it's not amazing sound or whatever. I guess it's fine for what it is. But yeah, things that I don't like latency with Spotify, YouTube, because those apps use AirPlay 1, not AirPlay 2, unlike Apple Music. It keeps dropping out sometimes when I'm using, regardless if it's my Mac or my phone. Maybe it's my Wi-Fi issue, but I don't know, but it just cuts in, in and out sometimes. And yeah, this undetachable cable is also kind of worrying in terms of repairability. And I've read a lot about the original HomePod dying after like one year or a few months of use 
and I don't know if this will the same will happen to this as well but if it does it will be kind of sucks conclusion don't get this to use it as your Mac speaker it's kind of handy if you use a lot of HomeKit stuff which I don't and so I don't really know why I have this but yeah anyways if you have a lot of home kit accessories like your light your plug whatever it's nice as a hub to control it sounds okay but if I want a nice a good sounding speaker I probably won't go with this and in my audio sample I also compared it to a Bluetooth speaker which I think sounds better than this if you use home kit it's a nice hub to control everything it's fine for casually listening to music, but I won't say it's my preferable way. Those are my thoughts, and thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.